My 18 month old niece taught me one of the most valuable lessons the other day. And it was kind of enlightening to realize that this is the reason that so many entrepreneurs, so many people in fact, fall off when it comes to optimizing their health and being accountable. And what is that lesson? It's that when we are part of a routine, when we follow a routine, it works. A routine specifically designed for us. A routine we build up one small step at a time into habits. You see, I went out for coffee with my sister. Um, my niece was there and she's got her routine. She has her morning time, she has her lunch, she has her afternoon nap, she has her afternoon time, she has her evening meal, then she has bedtime, essentially. And each day follows route. And it's fine. There's no stress in this world if we are actually on routine. But as soon as we fall off of the routine, stress hits from all different angles. Yes, the life of an 18 month old is not stressful. But when you are an 18 month old, I imagine what it's actually like that you start getting really tired when you're late for your nap. You start getting really angry or hangry when you're late for your lunch. And stress comes everywhere. And you start taking it out on people without even realizing that you start getting angry with those close to you. You start screaming and yelling for no apparent reason. And it is this reason we have routines, usually Monday to Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, Gary Vaynerchuk mentions it, that he hates the weekend. Honestly, it's only been the last few months that I've realized that I've had to build structure into my weekends in order to allow myself to love the weekends. When there are free for all, I fall off my diet. I fall off my training. I do not do what I tell my clients to do when there's no structure there, which is why I now speak to my clients about their weekend from Monday to Sunday. It's not a five day game, it's a seven day game. And it's not to say you can't go out and enjoy time with your family, but awareness of it. When we take Eden, my niece, out for coffee, we've got to be aware that maybe if we talk for a little bit longer than we expected and she misses her one o'clock nap time, that she's going to be a little bit angry. She's going to be tired. She's going to be crying. She's going to be yelling. She's going to be screaming. She's going to be stressed. And at 18 months old, you can't do much damage when you're stressed. But when you become 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, and you've already got life's stresses hitting you from every single angle, life, work life, family life, relationships, your health, that you've hustled so hard and deteriorated over time, when all this is coming at you from every single angle, that stress can throw you over the edge. A lot of people then go to the gym a lot of people will go for a run or go for something else which is physiologically stressing to deal with that psychological stress. Is that the way? Not always. It can help. It can add to your day. But what I'm trying to get at here is that if you are aware that lack of structure is the reason you keep falling off at the weekend, then why not just add structure into your day? I still do my training sessions at weekend. I still do my morning meditation, my morning routine, my gratitude, my journaling at weekends. I still get to bed at a decent time unless I'm going out for a friend's birthday or we're going out for a meal for date night. I try and keep my sleep all up to routine. I wake up at the same time at weekends. Don't put your body through extra stress which is potentially going to throw you over the edge. When that throws you over the edge, it can lead to weight gain, fat gain, it can lead to muscle loss, real, real high levels of increased cortisol, detrimental health in other areas, but lack of focus being the biggest one. Brain fog, your mentality goes down. And then when it comes to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you feel rubbish. The Monday morning feeling kicks in and you don't know where to start. So ask yourself this. Am I constantly falling off at weekends? If so, how do I get back on? Is it simply adding structure? Or is it adding that number two thing there? The biggest thing I find gets results with my clients, and that is accountability. If you want to talk about accountability, just give me a shout. Hit me up, ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com. Click DM, click comment, click any way that you want to communicate with me and we'll get on a call and have a talk through it.
No pushy sales. I guarantee I can help.